Last week, we got a major report from Mark Gurman that Apple was going to be releasing at least one new Mac at their upcoming March 8th event. And I already told you guys that I'm 100% sure that it's going to be the new redesigned high-end Mac Mini. But just this morning, out of nowhere, Apple themselves have actually confirmed that not one, but three brand new Macs are coming at the upcoming event, which is mind-blowing because we're already expecting a new iPhone SE and an iPad Air. And to make things even more confusing, one of them is apparently going to be a MacBook. Yes, a MacBook, which we weren't expecting until fall later this year. So what I'm going to do in this video is give you guys a few different scenarios for which Macs Apple could reveal at this upcoming event based on all of the leaks and rumors. So before I get into the first scenario, let me show you guys how Apple confirmed these three new Macs. Earlier this morning, Apple registered three brand new Mac model numbers with the Eurasian Economic Commission. And if you have no idea why Apple would do such a thing, let me explain. Due to government regulations, certain European countries require companies to register any product that features data encryption before it can actually be sold in that country. And if you know anything about Apple devices, almost all of them feature data encryption. So for the past few years, Apple has registered basically every major encrypted device with the EEC at least a couple of weeks before an event would take place. And it's no different this time around with these three Mac models. And Mark Gurman even chimed in and quote tweeted about the new filings by Apple, saying that he's expecting multiple Macs at the March event, so he agrees. Now in the past, sometimes Apple would file extra numbers that wouldn't end up getting released until later, but in my opinion, I think all three of these Macs are getting released at the March 8th event next month, and let me explain why. In October of 2020, Apple filed for eight new Mac model numbers, which all ended up being Apple's M1 Macs. But the most interesting point is that the three M1 Macs that launched in November of 2020 started with A23, while the two iMacs that were delayed until the spring of 2021 started with A24 almost like Apple knew that they would be released in the future. And if you look at the three brand new model numbers that we just got, they all start with A26. So that's my reasoning for all of them coming at this event. And the last extremely important point that I want to mention is that one of the numbers quite literally says portativni personal computer, which means portable personal computer, which has always turned out to be a MacBook in the past. And even though this goes against all common sense in terms of Apple's Mac lineup and what I personally thought was gonna happen, I think it's pretty clear that Apple is releasing a new MacBook at their event next month. And if that sounds too crazy to believe, I honestly think that there's no other option because the next event we're all expecting is WWDC in June. And I don't think there's any way Apple would release a MacBook at that event because we've had rumors of other products being released in June. Like for example, Mark Gurman believes there's a chance that Apple will reveal the Apple Silicon Mac Pro at WWDC. And then on top of that, we had rumors of Apple showing off their VR headset. And now Ross Young is doubling down once again on Apple revealing the iMac Pro in June as well. So I honestly don't think there's any room for a MacBook announcement in June. And with that said, the next probable event for a MacBook reveal would be in October, which is eight months from today. So there's absolutely no way that they would make this filing this early. So that likely means that this new MacBook is getting released next month. And the craziest thing of all is that this isn't the first time that we're hearing about this because just last week, Digitimes reported that Apple's entry-level M2 MacBook Pro would launch in early March. And at the time, this made absolutely zero sense and everybody basically laughed off the rumor because Digitimes isn't particularly reliable, 
But then Mark Gurman reported that Apple would hold a March 8th event and release at least one new Mac, which pretty much backs up the DigiTimes report. And then of course, just this morning, we got that new EEC filing pointing to a MacBook releasing next month. So what if DigiTimes actually received some early insider information and what if it actually comes true with a new M2 MacBook Pro launching next month? Well, in my opinion, if we are truly getting a new MacBook next month, I think it will definitely be a new entry-level MacBook Pro for a couple of different reasons. First of all, the redesigned MacBook Air isn't supposed to go into mass production until the third quarter of this year, according to Ming-Chi Kuo, which is usually really reliable. Second of all, I don't think that Apple would want to show off another product redesign at the same event, since I fully believe that they'll be also showing off the new Mac Mini design. And if you think about it, Apple has already shown off the 14-inch MacBook Pro redesign last year, so if this new MacBook Pro does come, it would be using the same 14-inch redesign, but obviously with different specs and features. And then finally, I actually think it makes sense for Apple to release the M2 chip within the MacBook Pro first to avoid the really crappy situation that happened with the original M1 MacBooks. And if you don't remember, the M1 MacBook Air was $300 cheaper than the MacBook Pro while not really being much slower. So we basically told everyone to avoid the M1 MacBook Pro because it simply wasn't worth the extra cash. So if Apple releases the M2 MacBook Pro first by itself, they can guarantee that no one is gonna be choosing the Air over the Pro since the Air is not gonna be available until later this year and all of that makes sense to me. But with all that said, we've established that we're getting a high-end M1 Pro and M1 Max Mac Mini revealed at the event as well as an entry-level MacBook Pro, but that still leaves one mystery EEC filing for a brand new Mac. So let me go through all of the possible scenarios for what it could end up being. For the first scenario, there's a chance that two of those EEC filing numbers are actually both for the same new Mac Mini model, because last year, we got two separate numbers for the 24-inch iMac, one for the two-port model and one for the four-port. So what if there's one filing for the M1 Pro chip and one filing for the M1 Max model? Or what if there's one for the 10 gigabit ethernet option and one for the base model? Well, I ended up doing some research by looking at previous model numbers and I found out that the M1 Mac mini only has one EEC model number regardless of whether it got 10 gigabit ethernet or not. And then I also looked back at the M1 Pro and M1 Max MacBooks and found that there was literally just one model number for the 14 inch and one for the 16 inch regardless of the chip options. So what that tells us is that the third EEC number that was filed this morning has to be a different Mac no matter what. So for this second scenario, what if the third Mac is actually gonna be a new Apple Silicon 27 inch Mac model that will also come with just the M1 Pro and Max chips because all the leaks and rumors talking about a June launch are specifically talking about the higher end iMac Pro. So what if Apple does in fact release a regular high end 27 inch iMac at next month's event, which is gonna feature the same exact 27 inch 5K 60 Hertz iMac panel without any sort of mini LED or ProMotion technology for a base price of around $2,000. And since there would be no display changes, it could have flown under Ross Young's radar since he's mostly tracking the new mini LED display for the iMac Pro and there would really be no way for him to know if a new regular 27 inch 5K iMac is coming if the display didn't change. But then again, it would require Apple to show off two brand new redesigns within the same event, which kind of makes it unlikely on top of the fact that all of the credible leakers out there haven't said a word about there being two 27 inch iMac models. So this is a bit of a stretch, but I'm still holding on to hope. And now for the third and final scenario, 
if Apple is truly revealing the M2 MacBook Pro next month, then why not release a second Mac with the M2 chip at the same time? And no, I don't mean the MacBook Air, I mean the base level M2 Mac Mini. Because if they're already taking time out of the event to show off the redesigned high-end Mac Mini, why not at the same time release the lower end M2 version, which would use the same chassis, and then they would instantly replace both the M1 and the Intel Mac Mini models. And then later in the year, at the October event, they could release both the M2 MacBook Air and the M2 24 inch iMac to complete the M2 lineup, which could totally make sense. But then again, a lot of people might make the mistake of thinking the M2 Mac Mini was faster than the M1 Pro and Max, which could be a bit confusing. So with that said, I think the most likely scenario is the second one, with Apple releasing an M1 Pro and M1 Max 27 inch iMac. Now, if you totally disagree with me, then let me know down in the comment section below. But if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click the circle above to subscribe for more videos like this one, and definitely check out one of those two right there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.